The issue of empowering women is a, is, is a term that we, um, you know, we hear quite often. And quite often in this debate, um, we, you, you have you know, the church. Uh, some people blaming the church for instilling outdated values that they say that depower women. What do you say? I say that Jesus Christ is the best advocate for women that ever lived. And so to be a member of his church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, is to be a woman who's the most liberated of any women on earth. Because we have access to his covenants, his commandments, his power. In the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, women actually do all the things that it requires a minister to be ordained in other churches. So we pray over the pulpit. In the 1970s, women were not allowed to pray in sacrament meetings, which ironically is exactly when the Equal Rights Amendment hit its peak. And women were not allowed to pray in general conference until April of 2013. We preach doctrine over the pulpit. Outside of four anomalies, women were not allowed to speak in general conference until 1984. Before that, women could only speak in their own meetings, which were always presided over by a man. When women in Mormonism speak, they quote their male leaders, and everything they say has to be approved by a man. We teach men and women gospel doctrine in various settings. At least a half a million women right now are leading organizations for women, for the young women, and for all the children. Women can only be in charge of other women, young women, and children and a man presides over and has the final say in whatever decisions she wants to make. To be a member of the Savior's Church is to be a liber liberated woman. It's really quite amazing. The destiny of a Mormon woman is to be a polygamous wife and to have babies for eternity. She is not involved in the creation process and her children do not know her name. To be a part of Jesus' Church, as Wendy put it, is to be a wife and a mother who does not have a career but instead stays at home and creates a heaven for her husband and children. It was never intended by the Lord that married women should compete with men in employment. Come home, wives, to your husbands. Make home a heaven for them. How in the world can Wendy Nelson say that if you belong to this church, you are the most liberated woman? Also, did you notice how uncomfortable President Nelson looked? The issue of empowering women is a, is, is a term that we, um, you know, we hear quite often and quite often in this debate.